Yeah, you know, it's actually funny you mention it. We, uh, our big trip my freshman year was to Notre Dame. Uh, and that was before they joined Hockey East, and they were opening uh, Compton Family Ice Arena um, to, to Division One play. And we went in there as kind of underdogs and ended up winning, I think it was 10-3 to 3 at the time, and we ended up sleeping for the weekend, which was a big boost to our team season at that time and uh, brought a lot of guys together. And anytime you get to fly or travel anywhere, um, you, you learn a lot about your teammates and helps the thing on the ice as well. John just misses past the far post as Mass scrambles to it. Were those gold helmets as cool in person as they look on TV? Jaden Struble up through the zone. Carries and pauses with the puck. Pass to the circle. Wrist shot. That one gets snapped before the replay that we had just shown a, a bit earlier in the process. McDonough shot glances off of Jensen's skate and nearly sneaks past inside the post. Colangelo's diagonal pass to Josevic in the corner. He had the assist on Zach Solo's shorthanded goal. Colangelo slides down to the low slot. His shot is... Aiden McDonough behind the net and tended for Solo off the side of the net, and it's Colangelo back at the blue line. Yeah, this Northeastern power play does a good job rotating around, getting the puck on everybody's stick. It's a bit non-traditional in the sense of uh, set. It's not blocked by Benton Mass. He was felled by it, and so he heads to the bench. A little bit of a limp in his gait. Ten seconds to go on this power play. One last potential rush here. Northeastern, Struble works around McKinnon. Leads himself into the boards. Kislin holds it in at the line. As the final seconds tick off, Engeras races out of the box. We're back at even strength. Yeah, solid kill though by New Hampshire. Northeastern had the puck possession. Stuck to their uh, structure in the kill on the defense. Colangelo with the puck. Sends one low and hard with Solo setting a screen out in front. Sent back in. As Davenport gets two at four. The Huskies, this one rides the boards out to Colangelo. He sends a fastball back to the point and it hops away. Now an opportunity, a break in for UNH. Back to Crookshank and it just evades him. A great opportunity. Northeastern looking to catch UNH napping on their change. Yeah, this Northeastern power play is not afraid to attack and transition. Typically you see teams look to establish their set, but we saw it there. Harris with a blast and a one-timer goal. Northeastern's doubled its lead to nothing. Yeah, we talk about transition, we talk about the set, how Northeastern's power play can be a bit unorthodox at times, how much movement there is with uh, D-Man going low to high. And we'll take a look at it here. Joseph Beck able to move this puck down to Solo, who finds Harris. When Joseph Beck goes through the ice, forces the um, the winger that's up top in the shooter lane to, to move just ever so slightly. Harris able to find a lane, get the one-timer goal. You could see that Joseph Beck just skated in with his stick out, and Colangelo put it on the stick, barely had forced Joseph Beck to do much of anything at all. No change in score here in the third period. It was 3-0 going into the second intermission. That's where we still stand. Struble in front, saved by Robinson. Follow-up score. Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, one of those fantastic freshmen for Northeastern, has made it 4-0 Huskies. Yeah, it's good when you're a head coach or coaching staff and you recruit a bunch of freshmen and they come on campus and immediately click. And we've talked about this Jackson line ad nauseum. Fontaine's contributed very regularly. And we also talk, just talked about Jaden Struble, who gets a... Just a tap of the puck as you camp out in front. Easy enough. Struble carries in. Shot score over Taylor's shoulder. It's 7-0 Northeastern. And there is a penalty coming up on UNH as well. It was a delayed penalty. So the route is on. And the next two minutes will belong to the man advantage for Northeastern. Yeah, nice rush here by Shrubel. We've watched him carry the puck up himself a couple times tonight. This time, a little bit more patience. And he's able to beat Ty Taylor on the short side, kind of under the arm. Taking a look at it here on the weak angle. Yeah, those are ones that you want to have back. But at this point, the game is starting to get away from UNH a little bit. 
uh, as Northeastern will go onto the power play here uh, for two minutes. Less than 10 minutes left in this game. 